Tis the season for mugs. If you're looking to make money from the comfort of your home, start selling drinkware online. Personalized mugs are not just a beloved personal item to all hot drink fiends, they're a true gifting staple. In this guide, I'll teach you where to find coffee mugs to sell, how to design them without any design skills, and how to successfully market them to your customers, and how you can do all of that with a $0 investment. Interested? Keep watching. You might be thinking, okay, selling mugs sounds like a good business idea, except I don't have any stock of cups or a sublimation printer. No worries. That's what we're here for. We take care of stocking blank products, printing, packaging, and shipping out the products to your customer. All you have to do is take care of the creative and marketing side of your business. As Printful is a white label partner, your customers won't see our name attached to your product at any point. You have the opportunity to create a truly authentic brand experience for your customers with the branding option Primful offers. Learn more about customized branding by watching this video. I've put a link to it in the description. Picking the right mug. We offer a wide range of products that you can choose from, including a variety of mugs for every taste. You have the classics like the 11 ounce and 15 ounce all white ceramic mug, or a fun twist on the classic 11 ounce ceramic mug with the color inside. You can also pick the travel safe enamel mug that's always ready for Instagram or surprise your customers with a glossy black magic mug that reveals your customer's design when in touch with hot liquids. Depending on your audience and the niche of your store, consider which type of mug fits best. Mugs are practical utensil and a great gift, especially with a custom design. That means you can sell mugs that fit a specific style or a mug that matches a particular holiday or celebration. Now to choose a specific niche for your mug, I suggest we do research to see what people are all already buying. We created a poll here on YouTube a little while ago, asked our sellers about the mugs their customer liked best. The results are in. And the most popular cup is, a drum roll please, the white ceramic mug with the color inside, with the white ceramic mug as a close second. While you can rely on others' experiences, it's best to do market research to see what mug types is best for your audience. More on that in our next segment. Researching the market. I've opened up one of the more popular marketplaces for the US audience. Etsy. I'm suggesting that you use Etsy because you can see what products are coming up for each search term and see how well they're doing in terms of sales. I'm simply typing in the keyword coffee mug to start our research. In the drop down box, we see some of the most popular searches that contain our keyword coffee mug. Let's explore the coffee mug dad keyword. A coffee mug for dads can be a great gift on Father's Day, on a birthday, or any other celebration. That means that you can make sales from this product all year round. Most of these designs are text-based and have either funny or heartfelt quotes. Keep in mind that it's illegal to copy a design. I suggest that you'd rather use the designs that we're doing well for inspiration. Once you find a potential niche such as coffee mugs for dads, the next step is choosing a suitable mug type. By taking a quick look at products on Etsy, I see that most of them are white ceramic mugs. For my own product, I'll be picking a ceramic mug with the color inside to fit customers' expectations. When picking a mug type, keep in mind when and how your customers will be using it. So for example, if I wanted to create a mug for dads who love camping, I would choose the enamel mug. The enamel mug is lightweight and durable, which is perfect for campers. Now that I have a niche and a mug type, the next step is creating a design. To create a design for your store, you'll need to go through these steps. Create a product template, Add a design to the product and save the template. To create a design for your mug, head over to the Printful dashboard and click product templates on the side menu. The reason we're using product templates is that once you've created the product template, you're able to push to different stores. Then click here to create a new template. Go to home and living, coffee mugs, and choose the product you want. If you're making a design without Printful's design maker, check out our file guidelines. These guidelines help you make sure your product turns out exactly as you've envisioned. You can download the print file template. It's in the necessary size, so you'll have an easier time when creating your design. Once your design is ready, click on the Start Designing button. Here, you can upload your design file. You can place the design elements on the left, middle, and right side of the design view. If you want the design to appear next to the handle, put it on either side like this, or create a pattern by clicking here. Let's check the 3D mockup view to see what the mug will look like. You might not be a design expert, and that's all right, neither am I. You can easily create a fantastic mug design with all the tools and resources offered by the design maker. Different patterns and design elements with transparent backgrounds are here for you to use for free. You can also choose from a wide variety of clip art and quick designs. You have high quality illustrations covering many different topics that you can combine with text, adjusting everything to your liking. Let's create a mug for the world's best dad using only the tools available in the design maker. I'll start by clicking on text, typing a quote, now let's pick a font and text size and place the text on the side of the mug. So far, so good. 
Now let's spice things up and add an illustration. To do that, I'm heading over to clip art to find a suitable one. I want to add an illustration of a mustache on the mug for those dads whose defining facial feature is a luscious dash. So I'm picking the build a human section. To place this clip art on the cup, click on it and place it on the desired spot. Perfect. The design looks exactly how I wanted it to look. Looks amazing. Now click continue to save the product template. I'm typing in dad mug as the template name. Finally, click save. If you want to add this product to your store, hover your mouse over the template and click add to store. Now that you've created the product, the next step is reaching our customers and getting them to purchase. How to market your mug. When coming up with a marketing plan, there are several areas to cover. Who are you selling to? When are these people likely to buy your product? What keywords to use when advertising your product? Keep watching and I'll show you my best practices and tools to tackle on each of these questions. Who are you selling to? When it comes to the mugs we just designed, it's probably best to market it as a gift for, well, dads. The customers who'll buy these mugs will most likely be partners, children, and friends or relatives of the gifty. It's crucial to understand who your audience is first. If you market to the wrong crowd, it won't matter how good your product pictures, description, and prices are, as they won't be interested in buying your product. So if you already have a niche in mind, ask yourself, who's going to buy this? We have a quick video guide that helps you figure out your ideal customer. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Make sure to check it out if you're struggling to figure out who you're selling to. The perfect customer for my dad mug could be their partner and children. If I wanted to target their partners and children, I would likely target men and women aged between 30 and 60. To specifically target their partners, I would also include people who are in a relationship. I would market this mug on platforms my potential client might often use such as Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. It might be a bit tricky to target children if they're under the age of 16, as they may not have a bank account or permission to buy products online. It might be best to target people aged 16 to 30 who are more likely to be able to make purchases online and might buy this mug from your store. I would advertise this product on platforms people this age often use, such as Instagram, YouTube, and Snapchat. When are customers likely to buy your product? Let's think of all the possible events and celebration when people could gift such a mug. The first celebration that comes to mind is Father's Day a day for honoring fatherhood. Another occasion is the winter holidays, as a cute mug is perfect for the cold season. And of course, your customer can gift mugs to their dad on their birthdays, any time of the year. Now that we've brainstormed several occasions when customers could buy this product, we have a better idea of when to market our product and a starting point for keyword research. What keywords should you use when advertising your product? Keywords are a term that helps search engines understand what type of product your store sells and who your product is for. To ensure potential customers can find your product, it's important to invest time in keyword research. Keywords can both describe how the product looks and who it's for. We can try looking up such keywords as Father's Day gift, gift for dads, gift for dad from wife, gift for dad from husband, gift for new dad, and Christmas gift for dad. Not all of these keywords will work well, but we can refine them with keyword research. Once you have your keywords, search engines can understand what your product is and put them in front of potential customers. For example, mugs for dads can have such descriptive words as mugs with a cute quote and Father's Day gift. Once you've researched keywords for the product, you should use them for the product name, description, and in your social media posts and hashtags. An excellent tool for keyword research is Google Trends. Once you type in your keyword, choose the worldwide region and a period of 12 months. You'll see a graph and a world map, and two boxes of related topics and related queries. We chose worldwide region to find out where this particular keyword is most popular and decide which areas we want to sell in. We picked the time frame of 12 months to see the popularity of this search term in the past year as it helps us to gauge the interest of your keyword has all year round. Based on the search results, the popularity of this keyword grows at the beginning of May and decreases after June 19, Father's Day. We can market our product in five countries, Australia, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, the United States, and Canada. So instead of focusing on marketing efforts in the United States, we can expand our reach. In the related search boxes, we see related search term people often look up. This box is an excellent source to pull more keywords from like Father Day gift ideas 2021. If I wanted to use this keyword, I would change it to the current year instead of 2021. The reason to add a year to your keywords is that people want to buy the most up-to-date products. So including the current year in your titles and description will help signal to your customers that the product is trendy and relevant. 
Users will want to visit sites with the most up-to-date items available. One way that the site demonstrates the novelty of their listing is by including the date of the most recent updates in titles or meta descriptions. You can research some more keywords just like this to see when they're more likely to be trending as well as find out more related words to use for your product titles, descriptions, and social media posts. We can head over to Google Trends for some inspiration. Let's type in dad mug in the search bar and pick worldwide region and a time frame of five years. Scroll down to related queries section to see what else people are searching for. Next to each query, we see a percentage and the term breakout. The percentage shows how the interest has grown over time and the term breakout means the growth has increased over 5,000%. Depending on the topic of design, you can pick some of these terms as keywords. If I wanna choose keywords that describe the cup as I designed earlier, I will pick these keywords. Best dad ever mug, best dad mug, Father's Day mug, personalized dad mug, and super dad mug. We can see some of the top search results involve keyword that don't match my mug design, such as Trump dad mug and cat dad mug. Although these keywords are popular, they have nothing to do with our mug. Make sure to only use keywords that describe your product so you don't deceive your customers. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you use the wrong keywords, people who search for it won't click on your mug and you have a chance of getting ranked lower in search results. If you want a more in-depth guidance on using Google Trends, check out the Primful Academy course on how to use Google Trends for e-commerce. Click here to watch or find the link in the description. Once you've found your keywords that fit the product you want to sell, it's time to put them to good use. Where you add your keywords depend on whether you're using a platform or a marketplace. If you've built your store on a platform like Shopify, Wix, or others, the right place for your keywords will be in the product title and description. Your meta titles and description as well as the SEO settings of your products on your store. Let's add your product's keyword to the title and description. If you haven't yet published your product template to your store, go to your Printful dashboard and click on product templates. Now add the template to your store. When pushing the product to your store, you're able to go over product details. Here's where we can already add plenty of our keywords, making our product discoverable. As a title, I'll set Father's Day gift behind every great kid is an amazing dad. This title now includes the keyword for an upcoming celebration and the quote for our mug. I'm also editing the description and adding some extra keywords. That will help search engines understand what your store and your product are about and help your customers find you. I want to include different keywords, Father's Day gift ideas and Father's Day mug. There's already a sample text added. I'll edit it to include our keywords. Now that our potential customers are searching for Father's Day gift ideas, they'll be able to find our product as well. And I suggest you add your tags to the tag section as well. And you're all set with the product listing. Once you've pushed it to your store, go over and open it on your platform. Here, you can also edit the SEO settings. For this example, we're using the Shopify platform. Here, you can see how your product appears on the search engine. As it might already contain text, you might wanna leave it as is, but I suggest you make changes. This will significantly improve your visibility on Google. When writing the description and title for your search engine listings, you should answer the following questions. What do you sell? Why should people buy from you? Avoid flowery language and get straight to the point. It takes mere seconds for people to decide whether they click on your site. You have a concise window of time to make an impression. So tell people what you're selling and what problem you're solving for them. For my example, I'm deleting some of the details from the description, such as the specs. If people are interested to find out more about that, they'll click on our listing. I think the rest of the description tells precisely what problem we solve for the customer. We're giving them a practical Father's Day gift. Now I'll edit the title and add keywords that describe my product. Father's Day gift, a coffee mug with a sweet quote. Our potential customers can now see that we sell Father's Day gifts, to be exact, Father's Day mugs. If you're using a marketplace, these steps stay just about the same. When pushing the product to your store, add your keywords in the title, description, and tags box. For this example, I'm using Etsy. Once you head over to your marketplace listing, you can add in extra keywords there as well. That is all. I hope you found this video useful. If you're already selling mugs, share the marketing tactics that works best for you in the comment section. See you in the next video.